and certainly the apostles that came along afterwards. We thank God for them. We are certainly grateful for Pastor Jennings, how God continues to labor and allow him to do this great work that we can see unfolding as the years pass. Is that right? Uh, continue to pray for the work that it will continue to do exactly what God purposed it to do. Uh, as always, uh, the radio broadcast and the telecast is on the air for no other purpose but to simply bring men the knowledge of God that they may get themselves right. Is that right? Uh, church is a place of preparation and uh, you can make all the investments and do everything you want to do in this life, but one thing we must prepare for and that is the departure from this life. Is that right? This is the place that will help you to do that. Uh, this time, we're going to just remind you again that this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, is on the air for the salvation of your soul. Uh, this program is uh, ordained of God that it may, in, in this day and time, be preached, not just here in America, but across the world, publish the truth of God so that men and women can get themselves right. God has placed Pastor Jennings uh, in this day and time for that purpose. We want everybody now to sit attentively and listen to the word of God as it comes forth from our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we bear witness that God Almighty is one, alone, by himself, with no partners. We associate none, absolutely none with him, <clears throat> none besides him, none equal to him, none greater than him. He was always God alone and always will be God alone. Had a beautiful meeting this morning. I do hope and pray that many of you got a chance to go in the main auditorium, did you? Good. Uh, that's a blessing uh, to my viewers, to all the members. Uh, the two new balconies that we were talking about being constructed is almost 99.9% .9 finished. That's a blessing. I believe this week <clears throat> they will bring the other parts of the steel rebar and lay it in the floor of the balcony, and then the concrete come in for the floor and the steps. And then once that's settled, God willing, I'll be looking over this week the new proposal from the electrical engineers <clears throat> for all the electrical work to be done in the main auditorium. After that's done, we can get our towel men to start working on the towel in the main auditorium and the finishing design for the balconies and get everything moving. I believe one scripture says, now all things are made ready. So with the help of God, and he has been helping us. That's, uh, that's who's been helping us. God's been helping us. And we glorify God and give him thanks for his help. He certainly, by all means, have stood by the church. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we have some more. Uh, I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Two in headquarters, one in Atlanta, three in New Brunswick, eight in Orlando, Florida, 16 Memphis, three in Charlotte, two in Monroe, three in Baltimore, and three in Detroit. I need you to <clears throat> give me the combined number with that, and the numbers from this morning that you gave me so we can let the people know. Also, uh, to the Saints of Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Minister Evans will be webcasting to the Charleston, South Carolina Saints uh, next Sunday to Hilton Garden Inn, 5265 International Boulevard, North Charleston, South Carolina. Please remember, next Sunday, Minister Evans will be webcasting to you next Sunday. Now. I want to remind you again of our new television station, Augusta, Georgia, that starts May 23rd, 
Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., channel 831, or rather, channel 381, beg your pardon. Channel 381, Comcast, Channel 7 on WOWTV and Channel 7 on W, or rather OTA TV. All right, Augusta, you get a chance to tune in. God be our helper. Now, we had some letters this morning, but I totally forgot all about them. I really did, because we wanted to stretch out the market of beast. But come on, Dan, the man. We'll get them this evening, God willing, and drop you with scripture and answer you with Bible. We have thousands of letters. And let me say this to any sisters and brothers that know how to type. Know how to type. Know how to type. That may not be working on no auxiliary or nothing, but you want to do some work in the church. We need some more to help type these letters because we get thousands of letters. And I'm not exaggerating. Thousands from all around the world. And when my secretaries give them to me, they are stacks. And I do mean stacks. So I need other sisters and brothers who know how to type, not learning, know how to type. Where's Sister Sharonda? Is she here? Raise your hand up high in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. All right. Any sister or brother interested at the service, please see Sister Sharonda. I need y'all to see her ASAP that know how to type she, so she can go over everything with you, how things are done. I don't want the burden just be on her. And, and, and we want you to be in it for the long haul, not start and stop, because this is not starting, stop. All right, Dan DeMann, let's get busy. Why you're so welcome. And I have a question. I recently saw a celebrity involved in a fundraiser to feed transgender people before I started. My first thought was, girl, stop your man. I know God is not agreeing with that LGBTQ tool, but if I see one on the street, I do let them, should I, do I let them stop? Yeah, yeah. I used to live in my sin in comfort, but some people help me when I need it. Now, in the book of Romans, chapter 12. Come on, sir. Romans, chapter 12, we'll start at verse 20. All right. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. Yeah, do you hear that? Amen. The transgender is still a human being, yeah. but their conduct makes them an enemy of God in conduct. That's right. But it's no sin to give them food. That's right. Because even though in conduct they are an enemy, and in conduct they conduct blaspheme the Bible, mm -hmm. the word of God speaks plain. Therefore, if thine enemy... Chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 12 and at verse 20. What is it? Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, if feed him. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. Thirsty, give him something to drink. For in so doing, thou shalt so heap coals of fire. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt heap coals of, of fire on his head. On his head. Be not overcome of evil. That means that mean you will be a blessing to him yes. or a blessing to her. Yes. Uh -huh. Be not overcome of evil. Don't be overtaken by evil. But overcome evil with good. You overcome evil with good. So look past the fact that they are transgender and look at the fact uh, it's a hungry human being. The man may be blind and deceived of the devil and think he's a woman. The woman may be blind and deceived of the devil and think she's a man. They're living a lie. But uh, you're not giving them food so they can maintain their lifestyle. Bible say if your enemy if thy and enemy their lifestyle is an enemy to God. That's right. But God speak plain. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. Ignore him. Feed him. All right, so you go on and feed him. If he feed thirsts, him. and if he thirsty, give him drink. Give him something to drink. Don't give him no liquor now. <laughs> give him some water. All right, next letter. This one says other inquiries or concerns. I understand you do not need the praise of men. However, I must commend you for your knowledge and wisdom. Thank you very that, kindly. Of that knowledge that changes lives. 
I encourage you in the Lord Jesus Christ that there are countless millions, call us the silent majority, that are listening to you and learning the depths of scripture from your teachings. I am white, and I know what, I, and I know that does not make a difference to you. They but, most certainly do not. But I wanted to tell you that. Thank you kindly. My question for you is this. Can we ever come together as one race? Can we all get along? Humanity. I want to know how I want to know how to be a part of what is doing, this person says. This human race will be at each other's throats until Jesus come. Right. The rejection of God within humanity caused them to reject each other. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and at verse 12. Says what? And because iniquity shall abound. Because sin have taken over. The love of the many. The love of many. Shall wax cold. I don't expect no one to love you. They hate God. That's right. When the world hate God, they're going to hate each other. That's why they're killing, murdering, stealing, lying swearing, threatening each other with guns and knives and nations got missiles pointed at each other. It's a hate that creation have for God. That's why God gave commandments, rules, regulations to govern society. And when God was manifested in the flesh, which was Christ Jesus, he laid a pattern, get me, of good works. Right. For an example, how to live, how to please God, what order, what commandment to follow. Mm -hmm. He taught men, made them apostles, sent them to the world to teach creation the rules, precepts, the expectations of God. For even here unto were ye called. Listen. In the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. Even here unto were ye called. Because Christ also because suffered for us. Christ suffered for us. Leaving us an example. He left us an example. That ye should follow his steps. My brother, until humanity repent of their sins. Be baptized in water. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord fill their wicked soul with the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the presence of God in man. Speaking in other tongue, let the Spirit of God give utterance and follow Jesus' teachings. Don't expect man to love one another. But evil men, the Bible says, in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13, and seducers, and tricksters, shall wax worse and worse. They're not going to get no better. They're going to get worse. And worse. What are they going to do with him? Deceiving. They're going to deceive. And being deceived. And they're going to deceive others. Right. All right. Next letter. This letter says, why are there no truth of God locations in Illinois? I need a regular place of worship. I stopped going to these lame brain churches. <laughs> now I watch Pastor Jennings on YouTube and this person says thanks. All right, well, <clears throat> our new address for Chicago, 2001 Seymour Avenue. 2001 Seymour Avenue. I'll be there, God willing, May 22nd and May 23rd, which is on a Saturday and a Sunday, Saturday at 5 o'clock. Sunday morning at 11, Sunday evening at 5. Amen. We were giving a church, giving a church building without a mortgage, which is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not big enough to hold the crowd we have in Chicago, but I rejoice that God gave us something. And that can be used for further expansion. Yeah. So we thank God for that. All right, next letter. This letter is on the subject of marriage. All right. Hello, Pastor Gino Jennings. How are you? I want to know, mm -hmm. does a couple have to get married, get a marriage license for the state in order to get married? I ask because in Jesus' time, there was no marriage licenses, mm -hmm. but people still got married. 
if my girlfriend and I got married without a state license, are we married in the eyes of God? And this brother says, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see what do we got to obey in the book of Titus chapter three. In this three. day and time, now in Jesus' time, a paper license perhaps was not required, but let us remember that each country differ in laws, and each period of time on the earth, the law of marriage was applied of one wife and one husband, but. The legal side of marriage differ depending upon the time wherein you live and what country you live in now. That's right. But being that you're right here in good old wicked America, <laughs> the word of God says in, in the book of Titus. Titus chapter 3 and at verse 1. Says what? Put them in mind to be subject to principalities. God tells me. To put you in mind. To be subject to principalities. To be subject to principalities. And powers. Powers. To obey magistrates. To obey magistrates. To be ready to every good work. When you obey principalities and powers and magistrates, you are in cooperation with the laws of the land. That's right. So the laws of the land require you get a license. Right. So, brother... You may want to marry your girlfriend. That's all well and good. But you better get a license. If not, you're just fornicating. Yeah. You're just fornicating. Yeah. Did I tell you you were just fornicating? <laughs> You'll be fornicating if you be uh, uh, playing <laughs> with your girlfriend. That's right. Physically indulgence. That's right. Having sex. <laughs> that way you get what I'm talking. I don't want you to scratch your head and say, what's physical indulgence? Having sex and you're not married, right. you are committing fornication. That's right. So you got to obey magistrates. Mm -hmm. Magistrates said you got to have a license. Yeah. So you got to get that license. So get busy now, get your license, and do it right, right. so you don't do it the wrong way. Yeah. All right. This letter says, by scripture, how does one test the spirits? Mm, good question. Give me uh, the epistle of John. That's right. Beloved. Believe not. Give it, chapter and verse. In 1 John chapter 4, we're at verse 1. <coughs> Beloved, believe not every spirit. And give me what Jesus said, what his word is. I got to balance it out. Yeah. But give chapter and verse again. 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 1. Beloved. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Don't you believe every spirit. But, but try the try spirits. Try it. Whether Test they are it, of God. Evaluate it. Whether it's of God. How do you try the spirits? You try the spirit by the book of spirit. The That's book right. of spirit is the scriptures. That's right. Why do you call it the book of spirit? Jesus said. In St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. What? It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The flesh don't profit nothing. The words that I speak the unto you. The words. Glory be to God. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. The words. That I speak unto the you. The speech. Hmm. The teaching. Amen. The preaching. The message. Mm -hmm. That Jesus speak unto you. What did he say they are? They are they spirit. They are divine. Hmm. Are you getting me? <laughs> you like you froze there for a while. <laughs> Jesus said, what? The words that like I speak unto you. He around, he had his mouth wide open. I'm wondering why nothing else coming out of it. You froze on me. Glory to God. Jesus said. The words that I speak unto you. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are divine. And they are Earth. life. Wonderful. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are God. Mm. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Sweet Jesus! Hallelujah! Wonderful. What do you mean they are God? The Bible said God is a spirit, That's and right. He said the words that I speak unto you, they are they are spirit. They are God. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Wonderful! Amen. Hallelujah. That 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 backs up Jesus talk. Hallelujah. I speak not Hallelujah. of myself. That's Amen. right. But as my Father, glory Hallelujah. to God, Amen. that the world of in Hallelujah. me. He doeth the work. That's right. 
Blessed be God. Isn't it good? Hallelujah. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are spirit. They are divine. They are powerful. And what else? And they are life. Glory to God. They give you life. So that's how you try the word or the, or the spirit by things. You got to try it by scripture. Beloved, believe not every spirit. And this is what God advised you. Don't you believe every spirit out here? Listen, I don't care how anointed some people get. Get under some spirit of prophecy. Someone wrote me, was telling me about some woman prophetess who's over the internet challenging me mm. and uh, uh, telling me that I should tell all black people right. that they are the true Israelites. Listen to Pastor Dennis. I don't care if you're black as night. That's right. Your black skin is not going to get you into the kingdom. No. If being black going to save you, I'm stepping out this pulpit right now. That's right. And I'm leaving, and I ain't coming back. That's right. Why? Because being black, I got it made. That's right. Being black, can't hold back. <laughs> being white, I guess I'm right. That's right. So being black is not the ticket to eternal life. No. So uh, don't sit around and wait for me to tell you, all black people are the real descendants of Abraham. I don't care if you descend from under the wings of Gabriel. That's right. If you don't repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, black man, yeah. and tarry so the Lord can fill you with the Holy Ghost, black man, <laughs> and follow the doctrine of the apostles, black man, then the black, the white, the brown, the yellow, and the red, yeah. you're going to be ushered right in hell. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah? That's Amen. right. All right, what you have? This final letter says, Dear Pastor Jennings, will you please explain 1 John, 1 John 5 and 7. Oh. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Yes. The Amen. Father, Amen. the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. And these three are one. That's all that? I look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience. Thank you, and God bless you in the name of Jesus, as Percy says. All right. Thank you, Dan, the man, Stasiak. Let's get this because this is where people go to ignorantly trying to think it's a trinity. They go there ignorantly trying to think it's a trinity. That's right. All right. This used to be one of your scriptures, wasn't it, Williams? Amen. Oh, yes. Now, here's an ex-Trinitarian. It used to be one of his scriptures, partner. Yeah. Amen. It's one of your ex-friends here, one of your ex-brethren. All right, come on, William. Let's go to work. First John chapter 5 and then verse 7. Yes. For there are three. Look at him reading it with fire. Ha! Reading it with fire. <laughs> Bring back old memories, don't it? Glory yeah. to God. <laughs> there are three. They are three. That bear record in heaven. That bear record in heaven. Now, that means this. There's something recorded. That's right. If there's a record of a thing, That's right. there's something recorded about that thing. That's right. At no time that it says there are three separate personalities recorded. No. It says there are three. There are three that, that bear record. Bear record. In heaven. In heaven. The Father. That's God. The Hold it. Mm-hmm. I want to chisel away at Malachi it. Malachi Title by title. Title by title. Title by title. That's right. Title by title. Amen. It says the Father. The, the Father. Father is the creator of the universe. That's right. And let's see how many fathers do we have. Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 10. I want to chip it, chip it away. <laughs> Amen. Like an old country man take a stick while he's on a porch and he'll take that pocket knife and just whittle that stick down. That's right. Whittle it down. So I want to take all the tree bark. That's right. Lord, they got off this and show you how clean it is under that. That's right. All right. Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 10. Listen. Have we not all one father? Have we not all one father? Hath not one God created us? And yet the Bible said there are three that bear record in heaven, the first title. The father. Now the father is God and God is the father. That's right. Because the Bible says, bless, one scripture says, blessed be the God and father. And father. In English, use grammar and say and mean a uh, conjunction. Right. Father is one, God is another. Not here. Not here. God is the Father and the Father is God. That's right. God bear the title Father because he's the originator of creation. God bear the title Lord because there's none higher than him. That's right. God bear the title highest because there's nothing more supreme than him. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. 
There are three. For there are three that bear record in heaven. That bear record. There's something recorded up there mm -hmm. about this one God. The Father. He's Father. The Word. What? The Word. Hold it. That same Father, His Word, the word. is His nature. That's right. In St. John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Did you one. hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear? I said, I want to give you the revelation of it now. Amen. I said, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. The Father. The Word. That's God. Mm -hmm. the, word, the Word. Hold it. Go ahead. The Word. The Word. Is His nature. And the Word is His speech. Well, mm. I said, what do you mean the Word is His nature? Mm. Did not Jesus say the word? The words that I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. And what else? And they are life. Now the question is, what kind of life is the word? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. What kind of life is the word? Go ahead. The word is eternal life. That's right. Eh? That's right. The word is eternal life. Yeah. It's everlasting life. For Jesus said, as the Father hath life, have life in himself. Give chapter and verse for this. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 26. Says what? For as the Father as God hath life, have life in himself. And God's life is eternal. That's right. So hath he given to the Son to the flesh to, to, have, life to have life in himself. And that life consists of flesh and blood. That's, that's right. So there are three. Well, there are three that bear record in heaven. There's something recorded mm -hmm. about these three titles. That's right. Not three persons. No. God, you better not tell me God is a person. No. I tell you what God is. Saint John chapter four and that verse twenty-four. That's what. God is a spirit. God. God is a spirit. God ain't no person. No. God is spirit. God is a spirit. So I'm saying you preach Jesus Christ is God. The flesh was the person. That's right. And the spirit of God was in the person. That's right. That's what it meant when it says God came in the person mm -hmm. of Christ Jesus. God came in the flesh. To but which? the spirit is not a person. That's right. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19. The Bible says. To wit, to wit. That God was in Christ. Where was God? God was in Christ. Where was God? God was in Christ. God was in the flesh. God was in the son. God was in the body. God was in the mediator. God was in the man. God was in the lamb. Go God was in the sacrifice. God was in the form. Right. God was in the shape. God was in the fashion. God was in the figure. God was in the image. God was in the similitude. God was in Christ. Hallelujah. God was in the temple. God was in the body. Hallelujah. For what? Reconciling the world unto to himself. To bring the world back. Unto himself. Unto himself. Not imputing their trespasses unto Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. To wit that God was in Christ. God, I said. Was in Christ. He was in that flesh. Reconciling, reconciling the world unto himself. the world. To himself. to himself. He used the flesh as a bridge That's right. to bring everybody to him. That's right. God, you couldn't come to him the way he was because it took a sacrifice and God, nature being spirit, he couldn't shed blood. That's right. So he went to the house of David and got in the tribe of Judah and he took upon him the form oh, of a servant sir. and within that form was natural life that was blood that operated the natural life of the natural body. That's right. And that's when the word was it's made amazing. flesh. That's right. What you mean? He spoke the power of the word, spoke and the flesh was formed and then it dwelt among us. That's right. And the word was made flesh. What? And the word was made wait, flesh. Wait, 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 wait. You better go up to chapter 1 of St. John, John chapter one and, and verse, verse 1. one mm -hmm. Because the word is God. That's right. And a lot of folks say, well, when the Bible said the word was made flesh, that means God had a beginning. Not here. Not here. Eh? No. What is it? St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning. Was the word. In the beginning was God. And Hold it. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was what? Was the word. Genesis 1-1. One, one. Genesis 1-1. One, one. Go ahead. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. 
And they are life. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 1. That's what? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He used words to hmm. bring creation into being. That's right. In the beginning was the word. And in the beginning was speech. God spoke creation into existence. That's right. In the beginning was, was the, the word. word. Was the word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth. What did God use? To make heaven and earth his words. That's right. He spoke it. That's right. He spoke it. That's right. You speak. Yeah. Amen. Let the sun rule the day and the, and the moon night. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the deep. You hear the word talking? That's right. Using speech, using words yeah. to bring that which was did not exist That's right. into existence. That's right. All right, let's go back to uh, John 1 and 1 now. Back in St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was God. And the Word. And God's Word. Was with God. Wait a minute. Now, that's another scripture that you folks use and say, that means that the second person of the Godhead was with God. He's a liar. That's a liar. When the Bible said the word is with God, you got to make that balance out. That's, out. that's right. Because he already said the words right. that I speak unto you, they are spirit, spirit. and they are life. What do you mean the word is with God? Read the next sentence and it'll tell you what that is. And the word, and the word was God. He's with himself, by himself. He made everything for himself. That's right. The word is with God simply means he's a God of his word. That's right. When he says something, it got to come to pass. I dare you to tell me that there's a second person in the God here. Amen. So the Bible says in first epistle of John 5, 7. Back in first John chapter uh Five First Epistle of John seven. 5, 7, there are three. For there are three that, that bear record, record in heaven. In heaven. The Father. That's God. The Word. That's God. And the Holy Ghost. What? And the Holy Ghost. That's God. That's God. Why? That's the one said, that's God. Give me Ephesians. Yes. 4, 4. 4 and 4. That's right. That's right. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 4. In Ephesians 4 and 4. There is one body. There's what? There is one body. There's one body. And one spirit. And one spirit. Even as you are called. Even in one as you are called calling. in the one hope of your calling. Of your calling. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. One spirit. One God. How many? One God. No, it's not. You better read that right. You're ex-Trinitarian. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 6. One God. How many? One God. No. Three personalities. One God. Schizophrenic. One God. One God. I can say it now, Pastor. You can say it now. One God. You can say it now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. One God, who is he? One God and Father of all. Wait a minute. The same God is the Father of all? One God and, and Father of all, who is above he, he's all. He's above all. And through all. And he's through all. And in you all. That proves that when you have the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost, you have God in you. That's right. That's right. When you have the Holy Ghost, you're filled with God. That's right. Hallelujah. So when the Bible says, glory Amen. to God. For there are three. When the Bible says, Amen. there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. The Father, that's God. The Word, that's God. The Holy Ghost, that's God. Those are simply three titles. And these three are one. Because the, what you mean, these three are one. Are one. The nature of God is spirit. That's right. And when it says these three are one, those three titles is attached to simply one God. That's right. Not just those three titles. He's called the Holy One of Israel. That's right. He's called Lord God Almighty. Yeah. He's called the highest. the highest. He's the Alpha of all things. That's right. And the Omega of all things. That's right. He is the beginning yeah. of all things, and he will bring all things to an end. That's right. He's called the Amen. He's the first and the last. He's the ancient of days. That's right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's a will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midst of a will. That's right. What? That's all God. All God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. From everlasting to everlasting. God. Thou art God. So first epistle of John 5:3. It just mentioned three titles. Five, seven. So when anybody add and says, oh, that's that's three separate and distinct persons in the Godhead. Yeah. Come on here. 
Or if they say, that's the Trinity, you liar. That's a lie. My one God is the Word. That's right. My one God is the Holy Ghost. Yes. My one God is the Father. My one God is Jehovah. Yes. My one God is I am That's that right. I am. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. One God. One God. Many functions. That's right. I said many functions. Yeah. Give me the book of Corinthians yeah. now real quick. Yes. Let's see the many operations, many functions of this one God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we're at verse 4. Follow me. Now, there are diversities of gifts. There are diversities, different kinds of gifts. But the same spirit. But the same spirit. And there are diversities of administration. There are diversity of administration. But the same Lord. Same Lord. And there are diversities of there operations. Are, look here. Look here. Amen. There are diversities. Of operations. Of operations. But it is the same God. But it is the same God that got these diversity operations. Which worketh all in all. He work what? All in all. Look same at the God. diversity of operations. Right. Father creating everything. Yeah. Word speaking for it throughout eternity. That's right. Holy Ghost. I'm keeping the church. That's right. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's right. Hallelujah. Diversity. Diversities of operations. Oh, but it's God. the same God. Yeah. Hallelujah. What? There are diversities of operations. Hallelujah. There are diversities of operations. Diversity of operations. Different. Amen. Operations. But it is the same God. No, three of them. It is the same G-O-D. Three distinct persons. But it is the same God. He's called Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God because he made the heavens. That's right. By his power. Right. Amen. Made the earth by his powers and made the heavens with his understanding. Made all creation. Yes. Father, oh. originator of time. Father, author of time. That's right. Word. Word. Infallible speech. That's right. Perfect speech. Amen. His speech got power, the resurrected dead. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. He's the word. He's the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Bless God. He said he make manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. That means God make manifest the letter. That's right. God make manifest his speech. That's right. God make manifest his spirit. Bless God through preaching. through preaching. So he's father. That's right. One operation. Yes. What? Word. Another operation. That's right. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What kind of operation is that? Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, he let you know if you want to be kept, I'm your keeper. That's right. Ha, huh? That's right. I'm your keeper. Hallelujah. Many. Diversities. Diversities of operation. Of operation. But it is the same God. It's who? It is the same God. It's who? It is the same God. Anyone that says three separate and distinct, use a lie. That's a lie. Use a liar from the depths of hell. It is the same God which worketh all in all. Same God here. Okay. That's right. He's our keeper. That's right. Provider. Healer. Yes. Protector. Comforter. Amen. Hallelujah! It is the same God which builder of the church, maker of the church. Amen. Same one. The same God. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, without without the mystery, you see more than one. That's right. So you stuck the title Trinity. That came from Rome. That's right. Didn't come from heaven. No. The title Trinity came from Rome. That's right. It did not come from heaven. No. Hallelujah. But the Apostle Paul, by God's permission, Hallelujah. said there are diversities. Well, and there are diversities of operations. Oh, this God we serve. It's wonderful. Have a lot of operations. But it's the same God. Same God. Here he come manifesting the flesh and then descending as a bodily shape of a dove and lighting upon that body. And yet it's in heaven in, and in the flesh, and in the standing flesh. on the earth and still covering the universe. That's right. The same God. Same God. Which worketh all in all. Glory same God. Same God. That same God said, let us, 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 us go. Glory to God. 
Let us, Let us make man. Make man. Let us make man. Who will take God in our image. That's right. After our After likeness. After our likeness. Thank God when he threw that out there, he knew men couldn't get it. That's right. He knew men wouldn't grasp it. Yes. Right there, he knew the colonel mind would think there's another one with them. That's right. But if you go down to Genesis 127, so good. which opened up 126. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good. Yeah. So good. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll take God. So God Amen. Is man. In, his own image. in his own image. In the image of God. In the image of God. Created he him. Created he him. Male and female created he them. Pastor Paul said there are. And there are diversity. Diversity. Diversity means different. That's right. Different. Operation. Operation. But it is the same God. The same God. Which worketh all in all. Same God that was standing up in that body of flesh. That's right. Well, the same God in heaven. That's right. Kept creation rotating. Oh, yes. Kept the sun shining. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Diversity. Same Amen. God. Same God which worketh all in all. But Amen. the colonel mind couldn't get the mystery. No. Bless God. So God moved on Paul and uh, 1 Timothy 3, 16. Because he knew that what he had written would bring about a lot of argument. That's right. And a lot of controversy. That's right. So God spoke to the apostle. And say, great! And without controversy! Without controversy! Great is the mystery! Great! Great! It's God's mystery. God was manifested. God was manifested. In the flesh. God worked. That's right. In the flesh. In the flesh. God preached. In the flesh. That's right. God healed. In the flesh. That's right. God walked on water. In the, in the flesh. That's right. God turned waters into wine. In the flesh. In the flesh. That's right. God was manifest. Glory to God. God was manifest in the flesh. Was manifested in the flesh. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God, God was manifest in the flesh. That's God was manifested in the flesh. Different operations. That's right. Huh? That's right. Different operations. And there are diversities Father, of operations. Son, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Different operations. That's right. By the one God. That's right. Father in creation. Yes. Amen. He made flesh, and then the flesh had the title son. That's right. And God was working in that flesh. In the flesh. What was that operation? For redemption. That's right. Then he come on back, Holy Ghost in the church. church. For him to have a people, he got to keep that people. That's and right. the Bible say you kept by the, by the power, power, of, power God. of God. That's Come right. say God. Go ahead. God. God. Go ahead. Was manifested in the flesh. In the flesh, God was manifest in the flesh. There are three. Hallelujah. And there are three that bear record in heaven. That bear record in heaven. In heaven, the Father. That's God. The Word. That's God. And the Holy Ghost. That's God. And these three are these one. These three are one. 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 It ain't say it's three separate. No, these three are one. Not three separate. No. One. These three are one. God. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is Father. That's right. God is Word. God is the Word. God is Holy Ghost. That's right. God is Jehovah. That's right. God is Elohim. Yep. God is I am that I am. Amen. Glory be to God. Diversities of operation. God is the creator. Yes. He is Lord God Almighty. That's right. Paul said. And there are diversities there of are operations. Different operations. Functions. But it is the same God. But the same. Which worketh all in all. No partners. That's right. No helpers getting this done. That's right. No one is helping him. That's right. No partners. He, no. he didn't align himself up with no partners. No, no. He's alone. That's right. By himself. By himself. He was alone yesterday. That's right. He's alone today. That's right. He said, I'm the same. That's right. Yesterday. Yesterday. And today. Oh, yeah. And today. I'm the same. 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 Yesterday. And today. And today. And oh, forever. God. Let's it be God Hallelujah. and forevermore. forevermore. Yesterday, wait a minute, let's see what he said yesterday. yesterday. Isaiah, mm -hmm. 45, 45 and 6. And, six. and Isaiah, mm -hmm. 45 and 8. Amen. And Isaiah, 43, 15. That's right. Who will take God? That's right. I want to go to yesterday. Isaiah chapter 45 I want to go six. to the past. That's right. And see how God described himself. That's right. Because he said, I'm the same, same. yesterday. Yeah. And today, yes.
Glory to God and forevermore. forevermore. Isaiah 45 and 6. Isaiah 44 and verse 6. Well, Isaiah 44 and 6. Beg your pardon. Let's have it. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Israel King. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first. I'm the first. And I am the last. I'm the last. And beside me. And besides me. And beside me, there is no God. Besides me, there is no God. That's yesterday. That's right. Read on. Isaiah 44 and verse 8. Say what? Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Don't be afraid. Have not I told thee from that Didn't time? Didn't I tell you from that time? Ready? And declared, you are even my witnesses. What did he say? Is there a God beside me? That question was asked yesterday. Yesterday. Hallelujah to God. Yeah. Is there a God beside oh, I think me? God, God asked a question yesterday. That's right. Thousands of years ago. That's right. He knew folk didn't believe he was by himself. That's they true. looked at him like you look at a man. He need help. He can't make heavens and earth by himself. himself. Too big of a job, you fool. That's a fool. Yesterday, look at the question. Is there a God beside me? God says there a God besides me. Yeah, there is no God. Oh. This is his yesterday's answer. There is, yea, there is no God. There is no God. I know not any. So, when they, when they come along later on. Later on. And say, wait a minute, we know two more. Mm. You're more intelligent than God. That's right. God said yesterday. Is there a God beside me? Come on, come on. You feel logical and fellas and study philosophy and all this Trinitarian trash. You mm. see them all over the internet. One man said, I enjoy them, but he don't believe in the Trinity. I most certainly don't. That's right. He don't know how Trinity works. It don't work. It, that's right. It don't work. He's one. That's right. It well, uh, 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 there's three persons. The Bible never said that. No. God had many titles. That's right. And it's more than three of them. That's right. It's more than three titles. Many titles. Many titles. Yes. The Bible says what? Is there a God beside me? This is yesterday talk. Amen. Is there a God besides yeah, us? Beside me. Them. Me. We. Me. Yesterday talk was singular. Is there a God beside me? Is there a me? God besides me? Yeah, there is no God. God said, yeah, there is no God. I know not any. When you know more than one, you know plenty. God said he don't know any. Who I'm going to take? That's right. You got more than one, you know many. Isaiah 45 and verse 21. Keep traveling. Tell ye and bring them near. Tell, tell, tell them, bring them near, bring yea, them let close. Them, yea, let them take counsel Let them take together. advice together. Who hath declared this from ancient Who time? Who declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? God and told it from that time. Have not I Have the Lord? not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me. Yesterday. Yesterday. Eh? That's right. And he said, I'm the same. That's right. You know what he said? Eight. I'm the same. Yes. Yesterday. Yes. And today, that means the present. And then he went past the present and said, forevermore. forevermore. They got past, present, future. Right. Now, nowhere in the past that any prophet said it was three separate distinct persons in the Godhead. No. Nowhere in the New Testament did any of the apostles declare him to have associates or partners. That's right. And you dumb, ignorant, hell-bound seminary school liars who got deceived by the devil because you couldn't understand the great oneness of God. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 30. That's what? Seeing it is one God. Seeing it is one God. Which shall justify the circumcision by faith. Yes. And uncircumcision through faith. Yes. Do we then make, the, do we then make void the law through faith? Yes. God forbid. God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Now the one God teaching, that knowledge is not in every man. That's right. You better give me, I believe, the 8th chapter, First Corinthians, if I'm correct. Yeah. I say, how be it, it's right back where you were about the diversity. Yes. Let's read, read the diversity. Yes. I believe that's where it is, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Come on now, because the Bible says, how be it, yes. there's not in every man that knowledge. That if knowledge. it's not there, try the eighth chapter. Yes. Amen. Try the eighth chapter, the book of 1 Corinthians, mm -hmm. because everyone don't know that there's one old song. Everybody don't know who Jesus is. That's right. Huh? Everybody don't know. So, yes, God testified about himself, viewers, of being one. And Pastor Paul said, unto us, there is but one God. One God. How be it? How be it? In 1 Corinthians chapter 8. Yes. And we'll start reading at verse 5. All right. For though there be that are called gods. Oh, there are those that are called. No, he didn't say there was. No. Called. Eh? Called God. He said there was. That's right. He just called that. For though there be because that are Because you recognize God. something as God don't make it God. That's true. You call it that. That's right. Eh? That's right. Go ahead, Peter, God. For though there be that are called God. You're called God. Whether in heaven. Whether in heaven. Or in earth. Uh, somebody say, well, why, why, how can somebody call something God in heaven? You got people that wish up the stars. 
horoscopes, yeah. push up the planets, mm -hmm. and call them gods. Right. Eh? For though there be that are called gods, yes. whether, in heaven, whether in heaven or in earth, or in earth as there be gods as many. As there be, what is talking about gods many, that means addressing those that people call gods. Call gods. There's a whole lot of them. There's many of them out there that people call gods. As there be gods many and, and lords many. Lords many. But to us. Wait a minute. To God's people. There is but one God. There are three separate and distinct personalities. But to us there is but one us. God. Us. Un but to us. Us. But us. There is but one God. Amen. You see, God people, we believe it's how many? One God. One God. Who have diverse operations. Operations. He have unlimited ability. That's right. Unlimited operations. And there are diversities of operations. And he's still just one. But it is the same God. Say not another here. The same God. Not another here. Which worketh all in all. That worketh all in all. But what? to us. But unto us. There is but one God. Who is it? The Father. He is the Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are all things. And we in him. And we are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom all things. And we by him. We by him. How be it? Listen at this. Listen at this. Paul knew it was deep. That's right. Paul knew what he just said by the Spirit of God was deep. That's right. And God kept moving him to talk. And he said, how be it? There is not an every there man. In, there is not in every man. That knowledge. That knowledge. That's right. So when people tell about something, there's three separate distinct persons, you don't shock me. Because no. this knowledge here. The Bible says, Howbeit there is not in every it man. It is not in every man. That knowledge. That knowledge that there's one. That's right. There's a matter of what's going on in the world. That's right. One. one. I don't care what scripture you read where God said, Let us make man. One. One. And our one. One. Our likeness. One. That's right. Because the Bible said, How be it? How be it there is not in every man. Down in Jordan, voice speak from heaven. Holy Ghost come as a bodily shape of a dove and light it upon him. Right. One. One. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do you hear it? How be it there is not in every it man. in every man. That knowledge. Every man don't have it. That's right. I said every man don't have it. That's they right. have to be given by the Spirit. Right. And you hear Jesus rejoicing about this. Yeah. He said, I thank thee, O Father. Glory to God. Lord of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Earth. But thou hast <laughs> given these things from the wise and the prudent, and hast been built it unto babes, for so it seemeth good. In thine sight. This is why you hear us come over the air. We bear witness. There is absolutely positively no God but one. There is no God else beside me. And here these infidels on the internet talking about Pastor Genesis. He, he's a oneness man. <laughs> oneness. That's right. That's right. Anybody pluralize the Godhead are heathens. That's right. You are heathen. That's right. You call me oneness, I accept that. I call you a heathen, and you're going to accept that. Amen. The Bible says. One Lord. How many? One Lord. Listen at this. In Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 5. How many? One Lord. What you say, viewers? Hmm. What you say? What you say? Same yesterday. Okay. And today. Okay. And forevermore. Same yesterday. And today. And forevermore. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Lord of all. Father of all, one in God. all, through all, one God. One God and Father of all. What you say, viewers? Hmm. Anybody come now, after this is written, <laughs> saying anything different, you're a liar. Well, all right. Acts 38 now. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Short, sweet, right to the point. Right to the point. Wonderful teaching. You might as well get it right now. That's right. You might as well come out to Trinitarian Church. Come out of it. Come out of it. That's right. Three separate distinct personalities that work in unison with the one. You liar. Ain't no Bible said that. That's Who says, when do it. God need help? That's right. That's the way they say it. That, that Williams was an ex-Trinitarian. That's, that's what they say. That's right. Three separate and distinct personalities that work in unison and they want. That's right. Ain't no Bible that tell that lie, you liar. That's a lie. That lie came from Rome, Italy. It's a European lie. Amen. God being one is a heavenly truth. That's right. Three distinct persons of the European lie. Which one you going to take? That's right. Give me the heavenly truth. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bible says in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Hard head, stubborn. Someone lead me out after the morning message. 
Pastor Jen is just telling them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I would like to debate him on it. Come on. My Lord, my Lord. Come on. But before you do, let me just give you something to think about before you come and get beat out your britches. <laughs> Jesus told his disciples to go yet therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Just tell me, did the disciples go out and obey what Jesus said? Okay. Did they do what Jesus said? Amen. Jesus said, go and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Now, before you show up and be made a fool, first write me. I want to be merciful. <laughs> That's right. First write me. Okay. Just tell me. Did the apostles do what Jesus told them to do? Mm -hmm. And did they baptize the way Jesus told them to baptize? That's right. Or be a fool to come. But I'm telling you right now, I'll beat you worse than your daddy. Amen. Call me arrogant, I don't care. Yeah. When it comes to the Bible, I ain't playing with none of you because you done lied for years. That's right. And the truth of God comes sting rolling over everything. That's right. Anybody here tonight want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it. If not, all right, tell Brother James, give me the total before I leave, please. That's what I'm waiting on. 80, a total of 80 already. All right, human family, you heard it again tonight. To my enemies, get mad now. Thank God for you. But you will be back next week. Yeah, you will. God willing, I'll be in Memphis. I'll be flying out Thursday, but get back Saturday so I can be here to rumble on Sunday. Amen. God be our help. Amen. Amen. But uh, you come on back. Come on back now. This is the program that will give you nothing but Bible interpretation and divine inspiration that comes from God. We don't get the scriptures all mixed up and all messed up. No, no. We keep it harmonized. That's the way God have it. May God keep you. May God preserve you. May God deliver you from falsehood. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. May God deliver you from your father's church, your mother's church, your grandmama's church. May God deliver you from the religion of men. Yes. You may ask, what is the religion of men, Pastor Jennings? I hope you, I thought you never asked. Well, everything that's not holy that's right. is the religion of men. Because yeah. if God say be holy and you're something else, you got the religion of men. Right. All right. Let us all stand. Dan the man will close us out once again. Thank God in prayer. Heavenly Father, again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do bless your great name, O God. We thank you again for this occasion. I have blessed the word of God to be preached on another occasion, O God. We pray you continue to bless it as it goes out over the airways, that it open the understanding of men and women everywhere that may come to the knowledge of the truth. We thank you, O God, for the knowledge of one God, that you're God and God alone. There's none besides thee. Give us strength, I pray, O God, as we go forth and give us the victory forevermore. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs>